Yo, what up my beautiful art gang? It's your boy Art and Creates. I'm a visual artist based in the Washington DC area. One second, one second. Excuse the imposition, I had to drink this for a second. Damn! Some good stuff in here. I got some lemon, honey, turmeric, some other good stuff. All to help my kidneys out, man. I'm currently battling kidney disease. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell you. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, that's good. Alright gang, so back to the real reason why I'm here. I think I created something pretty dope and I want to show you how I did it. But you be the judge. Take a look at this. Telfar Clemens is a Liberian American fashion designer and the founder and creator of Telfar, an extraordinary brand and fashion label. The inspiration for this one-of-a-kind, hand-drawn custom hoodie came from his undeniable ability to think creatively outside of the box. In that regard, I think Telfar and I are the same. Because when I create art, I create without limitations. And like Telfar always says, I don't create clothes for you, I create clothes for everyone. Oh! All right, my beautiful people. All you gotta do right now is sit back, relax, enjoy some good conversation. As I create this custom dope tail fall hoodie. You guys haven't done so by now. I'm manifesting that you follow, like, and share. Yo, I got some dope content coming out weekly. I think you guys would dig it. But without further ado, let's rock out. It's your boy. What up, my beautiful people? What's happening? Here's a quick rundown on some of my supplies I'm going to be using. We got that faux leather, molding paste, fabric medium, white paint, and various other supplies. Oh yeah, and the reference art. Now let the creative process begin. Yo, you have not entered the world of Arden Creates. Let's rock out. It's Arden Creates. I consider myself a pretty down to earth, humble and dope artist. Wait a minute, who are you? I'm just a beautiful spirit with the gift to create art. So I chose this particular photo because it spoke to my spirit. Stop the cap. Yeah, that sounds crazy, right? But nah, it did. Um, I, I like the image. It was dope. And that's how I choose a lot of my pieces. Whatever feels good energy-wise, I usually go with the flow. You can tell the energy is good with this joint, right? By how all the details are coming out. Go ahead, you can be real. My art slabs, right? I like to consider myself a non-traditional artist. I like to think outside of the box when I create art. That's why I chose to draw on this particular fabric. Because it challenged me. Yo, before I get off course too much, it was my birthday two weeks ago. On the 21st to be exact. I'm an Aquarius, baby. Yo, here's a fun fact. Till for our Clemens birthday, is actually on January the 20th. Oh, a day before no. mine. That's wild. Yo, do you guys believe in astrology? And so, what's your sign? I'm pretty big with manifesting my dream. I think that's the reason why I'm having all my successes now. Because I believe in myself. And you want to know who else believes in me? My beautiful and amazing husband. Yo, check this out. Yeah, you guessed it. I'm part of the alphabet game. My husband and I have been together going on 15 years. I know it sounds cheesy, but he's my best friend and my biggest supporter. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. All right, enough about me. Tell me more about yourself. Kind of quiet, huh? All right. I'll keep talking then. So I've been creating art professionally for approximately 20 plus years. Yeah. To be honest, it's all I ever really wanted to do. But sometimes fear and being complacent can get in the way of your success. Don't allow that to happen. Listen closely, my G. You would never reach your fullest potential if you were too afraid to even try. I'm speaking from experience. I'm sure back in 2005, when Telfar first started his fashion line, he was afraid too. But he pushed through. And look at the success he's achieved. Let's get back to the art. So after you successfully created your art, now you need to seal it. And you can do that with some kind of sealer or clear coat. I'm using Mod Podge. When spraying the clear coat, you want to do it liberally, but you want to make sure not to overspray. So ensure that you're properly masked and insulated because you don't want to breathe in those fumes. Because ain't nobody got no time to be knocked out by carbon monoxide poisoning. Oh God. Oh, After you apply no. the spray and you finish, you want to make sure that you cure it for about 24 hours. This will ensure the durability of the art and make sure that it's fully protected. Now we can work on some more aspects of the hoodie. Yo, so the next step in creating this hoodie is the distressing process. I think distressing the denim is one of my favorite parts of this process. I'm currently using a black and decker portable drill with a sand bit on it. Yo, when trying to achieve that distressed look, you can go straight dummy on this joint. 
Just keep saying until the ancestors tell you to stop. So here's a fun fact that you guys may not know. My mother actually taught me how to do this when I was a little boy. Yeah, my mother is a very talented woman. She filled me with so much confidence that this little guy right here, little artist, finally knew his greatness. And that's why I'm successful today. Thank you, mama. Mama, mama. Yo, real rap. If more parents were investing in their kids like my mother did, there would be so many creative people in this world. And that's how parents need to support their children. Yeah. All right, now after you done stretch your fabric, time to wash it. Yo, listen up, my beautiful creatives. Make sure to clean your fabrics. Ain't nothing worse than some stanky clothes. And spraying cologne ain't gonna hide that funk, you dig? Now, you can't be gentle with it. You gotta really go in there. Like, you gotta really get into it. Kinda like this. Yeah, that's it. Wait a minute, I almost forgot. Gotta put on my gloves. Make sure you always stay protected. Alright, now we good money. Yo, so check this out. Before anybody come at me in the comments, I added bleach to the denim. I wanted to lighten up the fabric a little bit. I did not use any other crazy chemicals. And I made sure to rinse all of the bleach out of the fabric. I want to ensure that there's no chemicals inside of the fabric after I'm done. I hope you guys are digging the video so far. I'm trying to give you an honest depiction of my world as an artist and a creative. After the fabric is clean and dry, now it's time to iron this joint. This is another important part of the process. You do not want wrinkle fabric. This will help any attachment process or sewing anything on the fabric later on. Trust me, you would definitely thank me later. Dear artists, if you're ever feeling like no one's watching you or no one believes in your talent, I believe in you. You know why? Because I believe in myself. And I know I sound like an after school special, but yo, the truth is, we gotta support one another, especially in the art world. It's not that big. Forgive me if I sound pessimistic, but it's even worse for black artists and creatives. But that's a whole nother conversation. Y'all ain't ready for that yet. Yo, this is how heat press vinyl on fabric. Well, one of the ways I do it. I also have a standard heat press machine, but you'll see that in other videos. Right now, I'm in straight gorilla mode. I'm getting it from the mud. Plus, I want to show you a practical way to do this at home. You know, just basic, without the bells and whistles. You dig? Yo, the truth is, you really don't need that many fancy things to create the dopest art. Just a vivid imagination. Now, it's time to cut the image off the fabric. Yo, this part is so satisfying. I love painting on fabric. Look at all the details. It is so dope when the idea comes together. All right, art gang. This is one of my favorite parts. Now we're about to attach the art to the fabric. Yes, sir. Here's the part where I'm positioning where I want the art to actually go. I'm going to actually put some adhesive on it to hold the art in place, and then I'm going to sew it later. Now I'm using fabric paint and putting some crazy designs on this. I'm giving it some flair, adding my accoutrement. Yo, look at me getting all French with it. And that's on Polyvoo Francais. Yeah, you can end up going crazy with this fabric paint, so you gotta kind of pace yourself. You don't want to go get too crazy with it. Then again, ain't nothing wrong with going a little crazy sometimes. Things are calling me crazy, Joe, but now they can call me Batman. After the painting is done, this is the final result. Dope, right? Alright, I forgot to tell you guys, I'm attaching Velcro to this fabric. Oh yeah, Velcro. This is going to prove important later on. I'll tell you why. Because this art is going to end up being attached to the hoodie. Now it's time to deconstruct the blank hoodie. You can use any blank hoodie, such as like the Gildan, but I chose to use the MBX Premium Hoodie. Uh, I like the quality of it. And now it's time to deconstruct this joint. Alright, so first things first, pull out your trusty seam ripper and get to work. So I decided to remove the front pockets. Who needs them? They're to be different, right? Yo, at this point, I really don't have an idea of what I want to do to the hoodie. I know it's going to be dope. My main focus is to properly deconstruct this hoodie and get it prepped to be sprayed with bleach. Yeah, I said bleach. So I'm pretty much destroying the hoodie to build it back up. You heard the analogy. You gotta break a few eggs to make the best omelets. Something like that. But damn, eggs are pretty expensive nowadays, right? Yo, at this point, I'm just cutting anything that I feel like I want to cut. I don't know. I don't have no rhyme or reason. But uh, I think it's going to all work out. At least I hope it will. When creating art, sometimes you just gotta go with what feels right. And pretty much hope for the best. I mean, that's what I do. It, it typically always works out though. Yo, the point is, just create something with the attention on creating something pretty dope. Now let's get some drill action going. Yes sir. Again, I don't have an exact blueprint on how I want to complete this joint, but it's going to be dope. I'm just going with what feels right. And that's the most important thing about art. I know some artists will tell you that you got to plan and plan things out, and that's cool too. But me, I kind of go with the flow. I'm telling you, it always works out for me. I base my art on what feels right, and there's nothing perfect in this world. I find beauty in imperfection. 
At this point, I'm using a spray bottle with some water and a little bleach in it. And I'm just choosing different areas to spray to get different looks that I want. Um, no rhyme or reason again. As you can see, the bleach is getting more transparent in color and more vivid. All right, so check this out. I was looking through my supplies, right? And I saw this stencil star that I'm gonna use to add some more texture and variety to it. I also was able to find some stencils with some letterings on it. And it has TC, which is for Telfar Clemens. So I'm gonna add that to the hoodie at some point as well. But we are vibing right now. This joint is turning out so fire. Your boy just can't be stopped. I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I'm not cocky, I'm just confident, you dig? You can tell when the art starts feeling good, man. Everything's working out. I'm past the ugly stage. Oh, tell me this ain't fire. Tell me I didn't put in that work, G. I'm too cold with it. I'm too cold with it. Yes, sir. Yo, so here's my favorite part. Time to sew, man. Yeah. So another little fun fact, my mother actually taught me how to sew as a young boy as well. So I've been doing this for a while. I'm not saying that I'm like the best seamstress ever, but I can get it done. Yet again, my beautiful mother gave me proper tools to be successful out of life. I thank you, mama. I really appreciate mama, it. Mama, mama. Yo, so how many of you guys like to sew? I know I do. It's very relaxing. Yeah. Your goal with sewing anything is to have constant structural support. You don't want nothing coming apart later on, right? So make sure you're checking your stitches. Yo, I have like a few nice sewing machines, but what I like to do is hand stitch because something about it is just authentic to me. I really can't explain it. It's just the ultimate vibe to me. Listen, don't get me wrong now. In some later projects, you're gonna see me using my sewing machine, so stay tuned. But sometimes it's good just to hand sew, right? Come on, y'all can agree with me, right? I know hand sewing can take a while, but the end result is always so dope. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I'm using invisible thread. I know that may seem a bit unorthodox, but it's true. So the thread lines are not transparent, so they're not easily visible, which comes in handy. Especially if your stitch lines are crooked. Uh, you don't want that to be showing. In my creative world, I'm thinking that Telfar would be happy with what I'm doing here. I could be more than certain that you ain't gonna ever find nobody creating art like I'm doing it. Not the way I'm doing it. So at the end of the day, it don't really matter who likes your work, as long as you like it, right? Let the church say amen. amen. We interrupt our program to bring you this world premiere. 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 And the final and reveal. The final reveal. And the final reveal. So there you have it, a custom hoodie made by yours truly, Arden baby. So I made two different looks for this hoodie that you can velcro off and on at your leisure. Everything is hand stitched and secured on and some dope art to go along with it, right? Yo, I straight walked on this joint. You can't tell me this ain't fire. Look at the velcro. Everything velcros off and on. So whenever you need to wash the hoodie, everything comes off and detaches, which is pretty dope. Yo, shout out to Liberian Culture. Were y'all digging that Liberian map that I created too? Fire, right? Yeah. Look at this joint. It detaches on, man. I'm too wet with it. Yo, the moral of this story is keep creating without limitations. Don't let anything stop you. Yo, if you can visualize it, then you can create it. Trust me. I'm speaking from experience. All right, my beautiful creatives. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for taking the time to watch your boy's video. Yes, it's my first YouTube video, and I hope you like it. And the cool part about it is, it's Black History Month. Yes, Black History Month. So, do yourself a favor and check out this Black Creative and watch some of my work. It's pretty dope. Most importantly, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you can get notified when my videos pop up. Yeah, and I want to teach you that you can be a dope artist too. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. It's Arden, baby. I'm out. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can get notified when my so you can get so you can get notified when so you can get so you can get so you can get notified when my videos pop up. Yeah.